Good morning, friends. Another Sunday finds us together, and I am grateful that it is so. Today, I would like us to bring our attention to life at a macrocosmic level, which is nothing but another way of looking at the microcosm. Science has played a huge role at showing us the wonders of nature at scales that are not reachable to the physical eye, both big and small. When we take a look at the universe, its immensity, its intelligence, its beauty, its perfection, there is an inevitable sense of awe. Trying to conceive it, we seem to have a glimpse of the mysteries of life and the source of all that exists. An innate wisdom within us recognizes that the same life that is in the leaf, in the cells of our body, is also palpitating in the heart of a galaxy. And the more we dwell in this understanding with a still mind and an open heart, we invite the possibility of entering into the realm of no form, where limited perception as we know it dissolves, where separation is non-existent, where we merge into the unspeakable and unthinkable womb of oneness. Even from a physical standpoint, taking a moment to remember that we are right now sitting on a planet that is traveling around the sun, whose orbit is perfectly positioned to allow life on Earth as we know it, neither too close nor too far, produced by the exact balance between gravity and speed. And that this solar system, together with hundreds of billions of other planetary systems, is part of a galaxy, the Milky Way, that is also moving, spiraling forward in a universe that is in constant expansion. And that is what is happening right now. In the proem of the book, The Secret Doctrine, Madame Blavatsky introduces three fundamental propositions. And the first one postulates one absolute reality, the rootless root of all that was, is, or ever shall be, an omnipresent, eternal, boundless and immutable principle that is beyond the range and reach of thought, as each one of these words is. But because the human being is not only capable of knowing through thinking, we have the potential to experience this reality or glimpses of it if we try. This trying seems twofold. On one hand, the release of all preconceptions that are mostly limited by the way our senses perceive. And the other, the effort to conceive the unconceivable. Lavaski also left the traces of a meditation practice that begins with the words, first conceive of unity by expansion in space and infinite in time. Today's meditation is inspired on that advice as an invitation to brave into the mystery of the unknown. And with that small task in hand, let's begin our practice. Sitting comfortably on your chair or pillow, as you normally do, 
Keeping your spine straight and your shoulders relaxed. Close your eyes. And begin by breathing deeper than usual, allowing the inhalation to be full. The exhalation to be slow and gentle. Letting each exhalation relax you a little deeper. As you release tension, stress, discomfort. With each breath, you find yourself more at ease. More relaxed. And more present. Relaxing all muscles, relaxing the skin, leaving the past behind, focusing only on this moment. Being present right here is the most important thing you are doing right now. In full relaxation, bring your attention to your breath, the natural rhythm of your breath. Particularly in the way the chest expands and contracts as you breathe.
in full relaxation. Stay present in the expansion and contraction of your chest as you breathe. Now using your imagination, begin to expand the limits of what you consider to be yourself. And begin to expand your sense of being of existing into the entire room in which you sit. So your limit is not your skin anymore. But the walls of the room. I am this room. And as I breathe, the walls expand and contract. Continue to expand your sense of being beyond the limits of this room.
You are the trees, the leaves. the grass, the water, the insects, all creatures, the air, you are the dirt, the rocks, the flowers. You are other people's homes. You are other human beings. And you continue to expand. You are the mountains, the rivers, the snow, you are the ocean, and each grain of sand. You are the sky, the clouds, the birds. You are the entire planet Earth. And as you breathe, the planet expands and contracts ever so lightly. I am the Earth. Now your sense of being begins to expand into outer space. You are the moon, you are the planets, you are the entire solar system. I 
I am the sun and the solar system. And as I breathe, the system slightly expands and contracts. And through the imagination, you continue to expand. Into other solar systems. Into hundreds of billions of stars. I am the entire Milky Way. Softly traveling in the universe. and continuing that expansion even further into the entire universe that is still expanding. Say inwardly, I am all space and time. without beginning and without end.
I am all space and time. Eternal. Immutable.
very slowly and in the same way we travel into expansion, begin to travel back. into the earth. into your room. into your physical body. Begin to connect with the sensations of sitting, the skin touching the chair, the air around you. And very slowly, taking your time, begin to open your eyes. I hope you enjoy this free ride through the cosmos and that you can do this practice if you find it inspiring. Have a, an expansive week and I'll see you next time.